Hi, my name is Kimberly Hadley and I'm a dental hygienist. I chose dental hygiene because I really liked um, to focus on one thing. I really like to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with people and this dental hygiene allows me to do that. It allows me to just to focus on one mouth at a time and to interact with one patient at a time. Um, the dental hygiene program is a pretty competitive program so it's really important just to do your best and to have the highest GPA that you can. I shouted an OT, I shouted a PT, and then I also shouted a dental hygienist. Um, shadowing is really important I think in any profession because it it helps you or allows you to kind of see yourself in the actual profession and gives you a more accurate view of what um, each profession is about. Uh, being a dental hygienist, you see these patients every six months, every three months, and so you get to know these patients on almost a personal level. You get the really hard patients, you get the patients who maybe they don't get to talk to people very much at home, so they like to talk to you, and that's what I really love is that just that interaction, that one-on-one. -on -one. Some of the drawbacks about being a dental hygienist is that it is, it is really kind of repetitive. So some of the skills necessary to be a dental hygienist are um, very detail oriented. You have to have really good eye-hand coordination, good posture, and um, just to be able to make your patients feel really comfortable because that's really what makes them want to come back to you. It, it's very flexible if you want to have a family in the future. Really, you can work from anywhere from one day to five days a week, and most offices are really flexible. So the dental hygiene program, it's, it is quite an expensive program, and like, you, like I said before, pretty competitive, but I've found that um, overworking the past couple of years, it's been really rewarding and really just worth the education that I've gotten for this profession.